Hey, what's up guys? And Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you've done all of your Christmas shopping. But man, what a year it's been. Literally 2023 is upon us. And that just sounds so wrong, that number for a year. It's really, really not long left. So hopefully you've done all your Christmas shopping. But man, what a year it's been in 2022. For starts with my channel, thank you so much for supporting the channel. 27,000 of you have subscribed this year alone, which is insane. So thank you. Thank you so much. And that's over 7 million views. So again, guys, thank you so much. I am speechless and I appreciate you all. So thank you so much. But I mentioned 2023. Now that is right upon us, which of course is a new year. And then Mercedes-Benz will be bringing out some new cars next year as well. So let's go through the official announcements first. So then guys, for those of you who are subscribed, you will have seen me post about the new A-Class. So yes, the Mercedes-Benz A-Class is getting an update next year and it is a facelift. So it's not a completely new model. It is just a few upgrades here and there on the interior and exterior. So ultimately it'll be the same shell, but it will have a few upgrades. So things like power domes on the bonnet, just to give more of a sporty look, new headlights, new multimedia system. And you'll notice as well for the keen eye that there doesn't look as though there's a touchpad in the middle of the car so it's going to feature just quite simply a touch screen most importantly it will be ntg7 which is mercedes-benz's latest multimedia system what i like to call mbux version 2 so it's not just a software upgrade this is a completely different multimedia system uh, just with loads of improvements faster processors so you should find the experience will be even smoother so that's the a class the b class is also getting the same treatment as well so this will be really good to see because the b class is ultimately an a class but raised and a bit more practical but it's going to have those same improvements on the exterior and interior so it'd be really really good anyone who is in the market for an a class or b class i'm sure they'll be pleasantly surprised to see that uh, of course both are getting new updates next year so those would be really, really good to see. Now, on top of this as well, there is the Mercedes-Benz GLC. Now the pricing and specification is out um, in the UK at Mercedes-Benz dealerships. So if you want to know more about those, do definitely get in contact with the local Mercedes. But of course, this is a brand new model. So slightly different shell, different exterior slightly. Uh, this is also gonna feature that new multimedia system, NTG7, but most importantly, instead of having widescreen displays a bit like the A-Class and B-Class, because this is based on the C-Class, the C-Class has a vertical screen just like this. So those are kind of taking inspiration from the S-Class, the EQE, EQS. Those would be really, really good to see. Now, most importantly with the GLC, because they are a raised C-Class, uh, an SUV, they are very practical and they're not too big that it's difficult to park in parking spaces. So GLC is very, very good. They don't drive like a big SUV, like too big on the road. They do drive like a normal car. So they are very, very popular. Now, one thing I wanted to point out was the plug-in hybrid version of the GLC as well. Now this seems to be very impressive. Now I don't know if this is WLTP or not, but from the looks of it from the specification that's been released, the plug-in hybrid range might be going up to almost 80 miles. Now that might be EA ER range, uh, so I don't know if that's WLTP. So if it's WLTP, it might be slightly less. But even still, that just shows you the kind of difference with battery technology and how far the aerodynamics have come just to get that extra range. Partly because of that as well is the larger battery. So it's gonna be a 31.2 kilowatt hour battery. So it will be slightly larger. And of course, then you've got, a, I think it's about two hours, 30 minutes charge at 11 kilowatts. But yeah, that range, I can't, I can't get over that range. That does sound really, really good. So of course, all these models, I'll be sure to cover them. Hopefully if I get my hands on one when they come out. Now up next are some electric cars that are coming out. So the first two are an EQE SUV and an EQS SUV. So for those of you who don't know on the EQ range in Mercedes, I think there's about eight electric cars that Mercedes uh, currently sell. And these two will bring it up to almost 10 electric cars. Now, earlier in the year, I managed to get my hands on an EQE and an EQS literally just outside here, filming them side by side. So if you guys wanted to see that, be sure to click on the pop-out banner up above. As that video was actually quite popular because a lot of you enjoyed that. But basically it was a uh, comparison between these two models, which just highlighted some differences. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because there are SUV versions of these two cars coming out next year which would be really good to see and of course if, again if i get my hands on one i'll be sure to cover them on my channel 
but of course the range on these cars is going to be greater than the average kind of range in electric cars at the moment so the average on i guess most electric cars is around that 250 mark it sounds like these are going to be over 300 so Pricing and specification hasn't come out yet for these two models, the EQE SUV and EQS SUV, but they will be very, very good to see. So I think they're gonna be kind of pitched a bit like a GLE and GLS, although they are gonna be completely different chassis, different shapes of car. I guess that's kind of where they're gonna sit in the uh, electric range. So they will have different dimensions and things like that because they kind of are their own models but they will be good to see so um let me know guys do you want me to do a comparison video of these two if i can get them side by side a bit like the eqe and eqs so let me know and then finally of course is a similar car to mercedes-benz but this is called a smart car so yes believe it or not smart car is actually sold in mercedes-benz dealerships currently they're sold as a smart eq42 and a smart eq44 so these are for two people and for four people, nice and easy. Now these cars are pitched as a city car. So they have um, a very small battery and of course they're quite a small car. So the range on them only goes up to 80 miles, but the new one is gonna do up to over 200. So we'll have to see the exact kind of figure when the pricing and specification comes out and that sort of thing, but be really, really good to see. So guys, if you want me to cover that on my channel, let me know in the comment section down below. And I might just cover that one as well. Guys, thank you so much for such an incredible year. I know I said thank you at the start, but I, I literally can't thank you enough. So thank you so much for your support, watching all the views, comments, likes, interactions with the whole channel. I see it all and I look at it every day on, of course, on my phone. So thank you so much. Of course, as it is Christmas, I'm gonna take the remainder of the year off just next week or so, and I will resume posting again early January. Um, I don't know which day I'm gonna do that yet, but I will post on the YouTube community tab so you guys can see uh, exactly when to expect another video. But again, let me know if you want me to cover anything uh, next year. I'm open to all suggestions. Guys, thank you so much. Have an amazing Christmas, and of course, a happy new year. And we'll see you in a few weeks time. As always guys, I'd like to give out a huge, huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes-Benz. Over the past few years, they've been absolutely amazing, providing access to all these awesome cars. So guys, honestly, I can't thank them enough. If you wanna check them out, click on the link in the description down below in case you're considering a Mercedes-Benz for yourself in 2023. Thanks again for watching guys. See you soon.